In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful here. We, uh, good morning, everyone. Now we are going to deal with our new program for mathematics department in Tabarak Private School with you, teacher Muhammad Al-Badri, with grade 11 mathematics teachers. And we are going to deal with the lesson of the sum to infinity. And before anything, we have to say very thanks Big thanks for the chairman, Mr. Yunus Arabi. Now we are going to start with our new lesson, the sum to infinite. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. How are you, my dear students? I am Mr. Muhammad Al Badri, teaching grade 11 bilingual. Welcome to our private school, Tabarak, from our educational platform. We have to thank our chairman, Mr. Yunus Arabi who gives us this wonderful opportunity to contact with our dear students and now we are going to study for our new lesson and I hope to to make you have time and our lesson of today is talking about the functions in general and we if we want to talk about the functions in general firstly we have to know how could we graph or how could we know the parabolas of the parents functions firstly here we have the linear functions and we studied in grade 8 9 and grade 7 9 and grade 7 also it's about straight line and for the quadratic we just studied in grade 10 and grade 11 the first semester how could we graph the quadratic functions function of x equals x squared and now about the cubic functions when function of x equals x power 3 so we'll take the plus parabola, like parabola like what we have and about the absolute value when function of x equals modulus of x or absolute value of x it will be two straight lines one of them upwards to right and the second upwards to left and for the reciprocal functions function of x equals 1 over x like what we have it here two separated parabolas and for the exponential functions function of x equal a bar x we I'm just do it for you because you will have it in grade 12 like in grade 12 like what we have and here for the logarithmic functions when function of x equal ln x yes like what we have it here and the square roots function when function of x equals square root of x like what we have starting from the original the organ and one when y equal or when function of x equals sin x we studied in the first semester the waves and you studied also in physics when function of x equals 2 cosine x and when function of x equals 10 x here we have the reciprocal the, the parent functions now we are going to study how could we know the even and the odd functions like what we have here we have a diagram to know how could we make a difference between even and odd functions for the even functions it has symmetric about the y-axis and for the odd functions it has a symmetric about the origin like what we have here we, if we want to know now here what is the even functions firstly we have to know if a function is such that function of x equals to a function of negative x for all values of x it's called an even function teacher how could we know it for example here we have showed that function of x equals 3x power 4 minus x squared plus 2 is an even minus x squared plus 2 is an even function but how could we know it? it's an even function we have to substitute the value of each x by a negative x if we have the function like it without any changing so it will be an even function so negative x power 4 it will be x power 4 and negative x squared will be x squared so we will have it 3x power 4 minus x squared plus 2 here it's like the standard functions function of x so function of negative x equals function of x so the function is even so now here if we want to know this or any function if we have it and even so we have to substitute the value of x with negative x 
and simplify it. When we simplify it, if we have the function as it is at uh, simplification without any changing for anything, so it will be an even function. Now can you write another even function? Someone will tell me, teacher, I'm saying here that we have all of the bars even. Yes, it's correct. So we can write it x bar 6 minus x bar 4 plus 2x squared will be the same. Thank you. Now we are going to take here another examples for two functions. The first function, function of x equals 5x bar 3 minus 1. We want to know if it's equals 5x bar 3 minus 1. We want to know it if it's even or odd functions. And for b, function of x equals negative 3x bar 4 minus x squared plus 2. And also, we want to know if it's even or odd or neither. So for the first one here, we have function of x equals 5x power 3 minus 1. If we notice here, we will have it function of minus x equals 5 times the negative x power 3 minus 1. It will be negative negative 5 x is uh, negative 5 x cube sorry 5 times the negative x cube minus 1 will be negative 5 x cube minus 1 do we have here the same functions do we have here the same function no we don't have it so not the original and all terms didn't change signs so neither so here we don't have it as an even number, as an even function. But what about for number b? We have a function of x equals negative three x power four minus x squared plus two. Now this do it. We will have it negative three. We have to find function of negative x to be negative three times the negative x power four minus minus x squared plus two. It will be the same function. What like what we have it? So. We got function of x back, so this function will be an even function. Now here we have even functions have y-axis symmetry, like what we have a blue and red. So for an even function, for every point x, y on the graph, the point negative x, y is also on the graph, like what we have here on the graph. And now here we have the graphs of even functions. Here are the graphs of some even functions, the quadratic functions, the modulus function, and any function it's uh, have symmetric about the x uh, the y axis. So what do you notice about these graphs? The graphs for of all even functions are symmetric about the the y axis. Sorry. Now for odd have Oregon symmetry. Like what we have it here for the blue and the green functions. So for an odd functions for every point x, y on the graph, the point negative x, negative y is also on the graph. For the odd functions here, if a function is such that function of negative x equals negative function of x, for all values of x, it's called an odd function. So here we are going to do it in two steps. For example, show that function of x equals x cubed plus 4x is an odd function. So here we have firstly to find the function of negative x. It will be negative x cubed plus 4 times the negative x becomes a negative x cubed minus 4x. And it will be negative times x cubed plus 4x which is minus. It will be negative times x cubed plus 4 x which is minus function of x so function of minus x equals minus function of x so the function is odd yeah i can you write down another odd function these are to you to make it well now the graphs are the graphs of the odd functions here we have the graphs of some odd functions like the linear which is passed through the organ or we have here the cubic functions or any functions have a symmetric 
about the origin. If you see these graphs, you will have the graphs of all odd functions have order two rotational symmetry about the organ. Now the periodic functions, a function with a pattern that repeats at regular intervals is called a periodic function. The interval over which a periodic function repeats is called the period of the function. For example, here we have the same rule like what we started in the first semester and how could we draw it? We are going, we, we studied how could we draw it? We draw it as a period and also, and also 10. These graphs had a period of 2 pi and these graphs has a period of pi. Now for the, odd function, uh, for the periodic functions here, we wouldn't talk about a function with the x-axis symmetry because it wouldn't be a function. If you want to know it, if it's a function, know it, if it's a function or no, we have to draw a vertical line. If it cut it in two points, like what we have in these two points, red points, so here we have one value of x and two values of y, that means we don't have a function. Thank you for listening for our explaining and I hope you enjoy with, our, with us and the homework you can find it in the model and in your contact, no, contact number in the WhatsApp and on the model. Thank you very much.